my god it is blinding um anyway so uh i don't know whether you can kind of see me or i can put that put the phone in front of the sun but um anyway uh so i'm going to be in london in uh quite soon and uh so i'm there really for um to conclude the very last bits for the uh, the forthcoming Mickey Duff book, which um, I've interviewed everyone uh, forty at the minute. Uh, there's a couple I'm not gonna not gonna use, but I've I've probably got um. So anyway, the, sorry, cut a long story short. I'm jibbering on and so the book is going to be fifty people, fifty serious faces um, of from the not only the British boxing world but the. Uh, well, boxing really. I mean, you know, I've, I've interviewed corners, trainers, men, corner men, managers, promoters, referees, timekeepers, um, British champions, European champions, Commonwealth champions, Northern uh, Central Area champions, uh, Hall of Famers. Um, you know, some re commentators, Sky Sports commentators, ITV commentators, uh, and I've got I've got quite a few to do. So I'm I'm going to be in London uh, very very soon as I said, but uh, my 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 basically uh, the moral of this video is so in lockdown I um <clears throat> I discovered a channel and I only I only watch a handful of channels on here, um you know a lot of it is uh, well you know what it is particularly on this corner of YouTube is um, I just don't put that nonsense in my head. But um, I, in lockdown, I discovered a channel called The House of Lechmere. Now, I'm I'm absolutely obsessed with the Whitechapel murders. I uh, always have been from about the age of 11. It's quite strange, isn't it? And um, so I watch, uh, you know, I, I, I observe. And uh, one of the... Uh, sorry, I do pull out my hair's wild. One of the... Uh, certainly the most prolific ripperologists the last couple of years. And... Um, a guy who's uh, arguably really built himself and uh, put himself in uh, one of the more formidable and um, no noticeable ones, particularly the last couple of years, is a guy called Ed Stout. Um, he's what you'd probably call an expert in uh, Charles Cross, a.k.a. Charles Lechmere. Uh, and if someone said to me who was Jack the Ripper, my personal preference would be someone who... You know, I mean, uh, there's been hundreds, and officially on Scotland Yard's files, I mean, I found out for the the Whitechapel book that there's 167 on Scotland Yard's files suspects, but there's probably hundreds. Um, you know, but a lot of them are ridiculous, like uh, the Royal Theory. You know, he wasn't even in the country for for the five murders. Um, I'd probably say something like maybe eight to twelve elite serious heavyweight ones and if it wasn't a polish a poor polish jew who we haven't even heard of um i would probably say my kind of favorite suspect is charles lechmere now what makes him really stand out for me is i give up with this hair I'll just crack on um do you know i've got a hair band a wristband on my wrist as well which never underestimate particularly stupidity um but what what really stands out for me with him was he was connected to one of the first murders. He actually found the body. Um, you know, so you can literally have a... You know, it's not a theory. He was... He found Polly Nichols, which is uh, 136 years next week, actually. And, um, you know, maybe he kind of killed her. And then when the guy come up from behind him, he could have went, oh... I've just found this body, have a look at this. Um, it's certainly, uh, as I said, there's a lot of them that you just like, when they're put forward, you just like, have a day off, mate. And, um, but a lot of it, it sells books and it, it it's great for films and all that kind of thing. And, you know, everyone there is dead. Even people's grandkids from that era are dead, you know. So pretty much people can kind of say what they want. And unless you're a kind of really really know the case then uh no one's really gonna go well hang on a minute you're just telling lies it's, do you know what i mean but uh ed stow he uh he was almost the third wheel in my marriage for a couple of years i literally watched everything on his channel so i'm gonna put the link in his channel the house of lechmere uh 
Ed has provided me with hours upon hours of um, grossly intriguing content on uh, the Whitechapel murders, and uh, I absolutely salute, and uh, I hope there's a lot more. So I'm going to be with Ed in the next, very, very soon, and uh, I will um, put his link for the for his actual channel in the title for this so get over and give him a subscription um as i said i you know there's a lot of them that you just like mate you know i mean i've actually been on so many white the jack the ripper tours and as i've been kind of took on some of the tours and the tour guides are going this is mary kelly and she was 23 when she died and i'm sat there thinking no she wasn't she was 25 and i'm thinking i know more than you uh so there's a lot of people in that industry stealing a living uh, and it's a business which makes it killing pardon the pun um but yeah i'm uh, gonna be catching up with ed and uh, if anyone wants to um if anyone's you know as fascinated with the whitechapel murders as i am then uh, go over and give his channel a sub and uh, i look forward to meeting ed very soon and uh, putting a few videos on on this channel